My hair is crazy right now. I'm just gonna put it in this handy dandy scrunchie. A headband. It's a fucking headband, Jay. Come on. Now that I got this hair in control, let's get started on a makeup look. What's up, guys? This is Juliana with my channel, Velvet Vixen TV. Today, I did my very first YouTube video. Very nerve-wracking, but a lot of fun. So excited to share with you this dramatic orange look that I've never done before on myself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully, you can get this video done before my phone dies because so far, I suck at this. Okay, so I have tape. I'm going to use this tape. I'm gonna put them in the corner of my eyes and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it in half. Pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and stick it like that. I'm gonna try my best to make them match. There we go. This is a great look. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't need that much tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip that. There we go. I think that will do the trick. Ooh, it's in my hair. Oh. They look pretty cute, right? Oh okay, man. Okay, so I have not used this palette barely ever, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm trying to figure out what colors I wanna use. You know what, I'm gonna use a little bit of red, so let's get started. So here I'm just grabbing some concealer and blending it with my finger. already look like I'm not so dead anymore. So we're going to get a little fluffy brush, just a little fluffy brush. I am not a professional makeup artist, so I don't have like crazy things. I've collected things over the years and that's how I go. So I'm a normal girl, just trying to look cute today. So I'm grabbing this beautiful burnt orange color. Now I'm just building that color into my creases until I get the desired look and blending it out. This pigment isn't too bad for being a drugstore product. This is gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna go a little crazy with this. What do you guys think? So I'm blending it a little bit upwards. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a different fluffy little brush and I'm picking up this like, almost like a mustardy yellow, like, like a deli mustard, you know what I'm saying? This is mustard mustard. This is deli mustard. More on the browner, taupey-ish side you know what i'm saying look at that guys something is happening it's magical it's blending very nicely you know i was really worried about making funny faces because uh that's what i do i'm usually like and i have actually gotten stopped and like looked over and people right beside me when i'm putting on makeup in the car were laughing at me so i'm traumatized i'm gonna try not to talk so much in this video i feel like i'm talking too much already look at that and the vid sorry about that my camera stopped recording while i was going in with my eyeliner so i just went ahead and did some eyeliner the best i can right now with the tape and for my hooded eyes so hopefully they turn out great so now i'm gonna do some smudginess and i'm gonna get another brush that i used earlier i'm gonna go ahead and smudge it with this beautiful chocolate brown and dip it in there smudgy smudgy i'm just trying to smudge it so the black isn't so intense. I'm gonna go in with just a black, a matte black. I am just darkening the black a little bit. That's all I'm doing, nothing fancy. I feel like it's just blending, adding, blending, adding. Yeah, I like it. I get a lot. You know what? I'm gonna add this sparkly yellow because I'm crazy. Let me show you this one right here to the inner corners. Oh my god. Can't go back now. Oh yeah. This is gonna be interesting. I'm just gonna add a little bit because this is a crazy color. I've never used it before. This is so interesting. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. It's not something I would wear to the grocery store, but that's the point to do something different. I'm gonna go ahead 
and tear these off. Oof. Okay. Mm, let's go in with some foundation. This one is Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It's not really my favorite, I won't lie, but it's not that bad. It's just, I'm not used to not full coverage. It is hydrating, I will give it that. So I'm just gonna lather my face till I look like a very confused human being that just doesn't know what they're doing with their lives. That's what I'm going for right now. Do I look like that yet? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use my dampened microfiber beauty blender. Let's do this before it dries up. So I wasn't really happy with the coverage with this foundation, so I went in with my 24-hour Maybelline one and touched it up a bit. So it's not covering up my freckles as much, but that's okay because freckles are in apparently now. I wish that was the case when I was a teenager, but oh well. So we're gonna go ahead and start contouring. I am gonna go and get my concealer that I started off with. We're gonna dot just a little bit underneath the eyes. Do some on the nosies. I'm gonna do a little bit under here, a little bit on the side, and I'm gonna go all the way up, even on the forehead. You have to work pretty quickly because this stuff dries up though. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a setting powder and I'm gonna go underneath a little bit on the nose a little bit on the chin and some here so I look like a crazy person now but that's okay I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm going to get my contouring palette grab my angled brush I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade first so I'm gonna go on the cheekbone so go ahead and contour under the lips, under your jawline, around the forehead, and anywhere else you want to feel snatched. I think that's pretty good for now. What do you guys think? I mean, it looks crazy right now, but it won't, I promise. I'm gonna use this plummy-ish red. Like reds right now with this look is better, or at least warmer colors, if I can open it. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in there. And I'm gonna try to stay as high on the cheekbones as I possibly can. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose because I like when my nose is a little red. You know what I'm saying? Why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the setting powder that's been sitting on my face for like a couple minutes now. We get under those eyes, that nose forehead so now i'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting with this like shimmery milky liner i put it right there on the tip of my nose a little circle and then i go up in a line and then i go in the inner corners of my eyes just like that and then i'm gonna do the cupid's bow and i'm gonna go smudge it with my finger After putting a little mascara on is going underneath with some black there we go I think that looks much better and then you know what I'm gonna go ahead and use some black eyeliner underneath I'm just gonna go in the corners under and upper corners right here just like that, and then on the lower. There you go. I'm gonna move on to lips, and I don't know what color I should go. I'm gonna use this brown liner first to line out my lips. I'm gonna go in with concealer just a little bit, like that. I'll blend it out. There we go. 
So I went in again with my lip liner and then now I am using a nude lip gloss. And of course, don't forget the highlighter, my absolute favorite part. finished look i hope you like it it's a little different and not something i would go out on the daily so that's the end of this video i am done this video has been crazy i didn't know what to say it was nerve-wracking the volume kept going off so i have to mess around with that hopefully i was looking at the camera as much as possible like i said this is my first video nerve-wracking if you guys want to see more of me and more tips and tricks or anything else you guys want me to review or try out, I am totally willing to do that. That's the whole point of this. If you want to follow my social medias, I will link them probably below or somewhere. Bye-bye.